Hello everyone, welcome to Adelante with Arlene. I wanted to get on briefly and say a quick hello and uh, do a prayer for everyone. I am hoping that this first part of the holiday season for many of us, which is Thanksgiving, went well for all of you. If you are tuning into this and it's nowhere near Thanksgiving, please know that this prayer still is for you as well. I come before you with a heavy heart, hoping and praying that as you are entering this new season, whatever it is, summer, winter, fall, and you find yourself um, feeling encouraged and not discouraged because we are at this present time while this video is being taped uh, going through a pandemic. But um, whenever you tune into this video, it could be a year later, um, and we're praying that all that will change this pandemic situation, you still may find yourself going through some hardships, which uh, life can bring, because in on this earth, we will have trials and tribulations. That is what the Word of God says. But I have found that with the Lord, um, we can walk through uh, these trials and tribulations with hope, the hope of glory, and with the peace and the love of Christ, and the security in what His Word says. So I come before you today, humbly, asking you to open your heart to the Lord Jesus today, and whatever He might have to say through me for you today. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the opportunity to speak to these, your people. I ask, O oh God, that it will be all of you and less of me, that you will use this vessel for your glory. Oh God, I lift up to you anyone right now who is sick in body, and I ask, oh God, that your love, that your Holy Spirit touch would fall upon them right now, that they would heal in those areas emotionally that they need to heal, those places in their mind, Lord God, that they need healing from. In the name of Jesus, I pray and believe, oh God, that if they open themselves to your spirit, to your love, to your ways, to your word, that they may feel the peace that surpasses all understanding, that they will gain and the strength that they need and the joy that only comes from you, oh God. I pray today, oh God, for anybody who is... Um, dealing with some financial lack, oh God. I pray, oh Lord, that they would turn their trust onto you, Lord God. I pray that you would send them people that would help them in areas, whether it is to feed them, whether it is to feed them in the soul, or whether it is to feed them uh, with sustenance of food, that you would send someone to help them, oh God. I would pray that you would open any jobs at home for them that need be, oh God, at this moment and this time, if they need to work from home, and if they need to work outside of the home, that you will continue to protect them and open that place for them as well, Lord God. I pray, oh God, for all the children right now that might be feeling fearful, uncomfortable, doubtful, and not knowing what is going on around them, oh God. I pray for your peace, for your touch upon them, oh God. I pray for wisdom with the parents, oh Lord, that in any given situation that they're listening to this video, that they would, oh God, be filled with your wisdom, with your direction, oh God, that you would help them, oh God, during this time, be able to balance those things that seem extreme and difficult right now for them, oh God, and that they'd be able, oh God, to do the more that they're doing now and do it so in peace and in love, that you would touch their bodies, their minds, and their souls in a mighty way. I pray for those who have turned their backs away from you. I pray, oh God, that they would have a hunger and thirst for you right now, oh God and that they would just reach out to you and know that you are the God that forgives, that you are the faithful God who cleanses us from all unrighteousness, oh God. I pray, oh Lord God, for, for all the essential workers, that you will continue to protect them, look after them, let them not grow tired or weary in doing all the work that they're doing, such good work, oh Lord. I pray, oh God, for, for, for wisdom for them, Lord Jesus. I pray for the scientists, oh Lord, in the labs that are trying to create a, a vaccine or, 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 or treatment for this, this, this pandemic, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you give them wisdom, wisdom that comes from above, oh Lord God. Wisdom that comes from above, that you would take their mind and their thoughts and make it captive to you, oh Lord. That, they, that what they produce would be safe and beneficial, Lord God. But they will produce that in which is excellent according to you, oh Father God, for you have created our mind, oh God. Should we turn over our mind over to you, oh God, that you, oh God, may lead them and guide them into the right way. 
We pray for government, oh God. We pray, oh God, for your wisdom and your knowledge to be instilled and influenced in them, whether it comes from an outside source, oh Lord, or that it, they may be open to you, oh Lord Jesus. So protect us, oh God, lead us and guide us, Lord. Help us, oh God, not be a divided people, but help us be more of a united people. For in you there is one race, your word, God says, one people, oh Lord God. And I ask in your name that we would all humble ourselves before you, oh Lord Jesus, and call out your name. Name, oh God, and be saved, oh Lord God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, and turn from our wicked ways, oh God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I ask and I pray, oh God. I pray, Lord God, for those that are alone, that find themselves feeling lonely, that they may find their strength, their peace, their love, and their company in you, oh God. By the power of your Holy Spirit, that you will fill their days with greatness, oh God. That you will fill their days with greatness, oh God. In your name I ask, I pray, amen. <sighs> Guys, I want to take this time to thank you all who have um, tuned into my channel. I thank you for those who have come from TikTok, Facebook, and all different, even here from YouTube, that you've come across my videos. I appreciate you all. I ask that you would share these videos with others. I ask that you would check my playlists out because I do this because I have a love for this word that God gives me, this burden that God gives me to reach others more and more and more. And that anything he's given me to say or to speak or to pray would touch you deep in a place where you have never been touched before. Not because of my words, but because of his Holy Spirit in me that has given me this burden and this uh, platform platform to be able to get it out so i thank you so much i'm gonna wait on the lord you may say wow arlene this is different i'm gonna wait on the lord hallelujah as we're approaching the holiday season and the cold weather got a little cold here which i'm excited about that but as we're approaching the cold weather in other states i pray that you keep yourself safe that you keep yourself as protected as you can and uh, you know all the protocol that we would follow that we can get over this together with God uh, and do it the right way so that we would protect ourselves but most of all protect others around us I pray that you find new ways of enjoying your holiday season that would be safe for you and safe for those that you love as well even for strangers safe for everyone I love you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, and I give you glory. Blessed be the name. Blessed be your name, Lord. I give you glory. I give you praise. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this place. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this place. For you alone, you alone, you alone, you alone. You alone. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Lord God Almighty. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Lord God Almighty. For you are great, Lord. 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 Holy are you. For you are great, Lord. You are great. You are great. You are great, Lord. You are great, you are great, you are great, Lord. Holy are you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am going to read Psalm 91. You should read this every day. Speak it into your life. The word says whoever, but we're going to take ownership. And you're going to say, I or we. I dwell in the shelter of the Most High. I will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and he is my fortress. My God in whom I will trust. Surely you will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. You cover me with your feathers and under your wings I will find refuge. Your faithfulness will be my shield and rampart. And I will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks, stalks in the darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand, but it will not come, it will not come near me. For I will only observe with my eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Yes, if you say the Lord is your refuge and you make him your most high dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all his ways. They will lift them you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra and you will trample the lion and the serpent because you say you love the lord he will rescue you he will protect you from he acknowledge because you acknowledge his name when you call upon him he will answer you and he will not he will be with you he will be with you in times of trouble he will deliver you because you honor him and he will honor you with long life and satisfy you and show you his salvation. Amen. You can also read Psalm 23. Psalm 139. And if you want God to show you the way. Which is many scriptures. I would say still Psalm 25. So God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to this small segment. I just needed to get this prayer out there for you and to you. Thank you for tuning in to Adelante with Arlene. Please know that Adelante means to go forward. When I say go forward with me, I really mean go forward with me as I go forward with God and hopes that you will take that journey with me. Thank you. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of your day.